Hey everyone, this is Sal from Geek.com and I'm here with the Clear 4G Plus mobile USB modem. Uh, it's from Clearwire, uh, who's teaming up with Sprint to roll out 4G connectivity across the country. Uh, as you probably know, they're going to use WiMAX and they're going to roll it out in a number of cities across the USA in the next couple of months. Uh, starting off with New York and LA on November 1st and then San Francisco a couple weeks later. So like I said, that's going to be Clearwire 4G uh, or Clear, which is the brand they're using, and they're teaming up with Sprint. Uh, what we're going to be looking at right now is their dual mode 4G 3G modem, which is uh, this little USB device here. So uh, this is the packaging. It's uh, you know pretty normal stuff. Not a whole lot here, but I uh, did a nice job with the packaging, so we'll move on from there. Uh, this is the USB device, like I said, it works with PC and Macs, uh, it's their standard kind of USB modem, it just, uh, they change from your standard design, rather than being a, uh, just kind of like a, looking like a USB stick, like most of them do, it is this, uh, sorry, i move my hand in a second, it's this little pendant design, so it's uh, pretty cool, it's called the Rover, it's the uh, a pay-as-you-go 4G service, it's going to run off Sprint, and then uh, Comcast, High Speed to Go, and Time Warner, Roadrunner, Mobile 4G. It'll be available in Best Buy in the future, and Bright House Networks, and all that other stuff. Uh, last piece of, piece of data before we look at the device is uh, Clearwire is going to offer up the speeds between 3 and 6 megabits per second, down with bursts of 10 megabits per second. Uh, again, that is bursts. Uh, so your speeds are going to vary, but that is the uh, what they're reporting. Other data, other data, uh, sorry, other data I've seen says to expect five to seven megabits per second down and uh, one point two megabits per second up. Again, that's megabits, not megabytes. And then, uh, yeah, it's going to eventually going to be in fifty six markets across the country, but we're going to start with the major cities. So as for the device itself, it's a small, maybe, uh, I don't know, two inches across. It's a sort of pendant made by Sierra Wireless. They make a lot of, um, you know, connectivity type devices. And then, uh, so there's your 3G and 4G indicators. This is a uh, really nice metal hinge. I think they did a good job with this. And you could hear it clicking. Move it closer. So it opens in increments, and then you plug it in, and then you could turn it either way. So uh, that would be useful if you uh, have a ThinkPad with a heart, uh, with a vertically mounted USB slot, or maybe you want to plug it into your desktop. So it could go in there, and you don't have to worry about this uh, or this being a conflict with your other USB devices. So. Uh, 4G is available right now. Right now it's, uh, what is today? Today's the October 18th. So right now it's available in New York, but they're doing limited testing. I got this device early, so I'm gonna do a little bit of testing prior to it being available for everyone on November 1st. So uh, again, uh, they're not promising full speed or perfect connection just yet because we're something like two weeks before the launch date. But I'm gonna get it, uh, get it going, and then uh, try to have a review up on or around the first. So, yeah, that is the clear. I believe it's called the Rover, but it might also be called the 4G Plus Mobile USB modem with 3G dual mode connectivity. These things are so confusing with their naming. Anyway, uh, you get the idea. So, uh, check back to Geek.com for the full review. This is Sal Congeloso. Thanks for watching.